less than 20 seconds less than five kilometers left make that four down inside the final four kilometers when you group up front nothing held back conrad replaced almost instantly by rhoda It's, it's an absolute nail biter. It's a terrific addition. And I tell you what, the person that's uh, the real winner here is not just the viewer, but also the uh, the race organizer. What a great job Fabian Wegman and team have done because this is, uh, a, you know, it's a delicious prospect. Whatever way it works out, it's been uh, really nicely and finally judged by the organizers and indeed by the riders putting together such a stunning performance. And, uh, well, 18 seconds, three and a half kilometers to go. It's still on for the riders up front to hang on, but it's going to be nailed by close and they have to ride it all the way to the line any suggestion of finessing or maybe just uh, thinking about attacking well that is just not on really I think they have to ride this one all the way into the final kilometer and trust to their sprinting legs Hermans is just trying to grab a little bit of uh, energy road it is that's going to uh, contribute selflessly for these uh, Jamarche circus wanting not too many teams with that advantage that opportunity and uh, st gap starting to develop off the front of the chasing bunch it looks like we've a lack of coordination there and they've sprung a lot of destiny rider that'll tell you at least that Arna Dali wasn't there meanwhile frantic frantic effort for Steinhauser to try and hang on Hermans now back into the rotation and they're starting to crack a little bit uh, in that group as well. And Stevie Williams struggles to stay on the wheel and struggles to close this one down. And chase behind as they jockey for position. The sprinters start to make their presence felt. And it's a long late attack on Rotto Destiny. Is it the boys trying his luck? We'll find out. We'll buy times, but will it be a bid for glory? Or will the success come from this group? Increasingly, it's looking possible. They spring off the front, and is it uh, Hermans that's gone for glory from the lead group? It's uh, Steinhauser that's going to have to try and cover it. Doesn't look like Conrad has the legs to try and get on terms. 1300 meters remaining as Hershey looks to jog across the gap and he's racing across and Steinhauser not able to get there. Road is just looking, he's not going to cover this one and why would he? Fideli waiting to make his bid and uh, it's Hershey that comes up and over him and probably now feeling that uh, all he's done is make it possible for the rest. Steinhauser welds it back together again and there can be no time for messing here. Who's going to chance a late one? Marcellusi from the back perhaps? Well, no, it's Rhoda doing the one-two for the Intermarche Circus Wanty and that should at least ensure that it's this group that contests the win down at the back well the uh, Ben Hermans with thoughts of glory again but uh, it's going to be so proud it's going to have the honour and the glory such as it is of leading this one out into the closing stages it's so proud going for glory desperate to try and get on terms Patrick Conrad Conrad of Bora Hansko trying to make it two wins in succession for the Bora Hansko squad Crowd doesn't want to be in this unlocked position of leading it out. Ben Herman's moving up towards the front. He's got Stevie Williams just trying to time his effort. Marcellusi's out of his wheels, but he's going to try and go for glory here. And it's Soren Crowd launching from the front. Conrad is trying to come off his wheel. Has he got the strength? This is all about strength. Who's got the strength at the end of 200 kilometers? It's Soren Crowd for all the same to Koenig. And will Conrad be able to come over the top of Conrad comes in the late run to try and get another one from Borna, but it's Soren Crowd that gets the victory for the opposite.